Hi, are you thinking about using a CT scanner for your research, but don't know how it works or what's involved? Well, don't worry. In this video, I will show you the process, including how to set the sample and how to set the scan conditions and how to get the results. I'm Aya Takase, and today I'm going to demonstrate our high-speed X-ray CT scanner, CT Lab GX. Let's get started. So this is the CT Lab GX, and this is a high-speed CT scanner. You can do high-speed scans on this system because this is a gantry system. And let me show you what I mean by that. So you open this door, you can just slide this out. And with a gantry system, the sample goes on this bed and just stays there. And it's not going to rotate and it's not going to move. Instead, we have the X-ray source and detector inside of this machine and they go around the sample. And that's what we call a gantry system. And because the sample is not going to move, we can do a very fast scan. And this is very useful when you want to do 40 or in -situ measurements. And some people use this scanner to look at live animals too. You can scan many different things on this machine, but let's take a look at this chocolate candy. This is a kind of long sample, but we can scan this in three sections and connect them all together to see the entire sample. Now, to set this on the machine, this is the beauty of the gantry system. You can just put it on the bed and that's all you have to do. And you slowly slide it in. You don't need any double-sided tape or glue to hold the sample because it's not going to move. So once the sample is set, um, you are going to do everything else pretty much on the computer. Before you set the details of the scan, you want to align the sample and let me show you how to do that. So first, you turn on the x-rays. Okay, and we're looking at kind of center of the sample. And I want to start from the top of the sample, so I'm going to move this around. And to do that, you can use those buttons. So I'm going to use this one first. And that's about right. Do a little bit to the left. So that looks good. And now we're going to do 360 degrees of scan. So I want to do this alignment at 90 degrees as well. So now we're looking at the sample from the side. It might look like the sample is rotating, but it's not. Um, we're rotating the X-ray generator and the detector. So let me get the height right. So that looks about the center, okay? And we're gonna go back to zero degree. Okay, so now the sample is aligned. So I'm gonna turn off the X-rays for now. I will use a 72 millimeter field of view and change the scan mode to high speed to do this very quick. And I will do three scans to cover the entire sample. And click CT scan. And this is the eight second per scan condition. So it's gonna take uh, 24 seconds to cover the entire sample. Okay, so now we have the entire sample scanned. And as you can see in this view, now you can look at this candy from wherever cross sections you want. You can look at the top and where the chocolate is. You see the peanuts and you see kind of porous uh, chocolate at the bottom. And this is a combination of three scans, but they're all connected automatically. So you really don't see any seams. Okay. And this is how you can look inside of a sample without in this case an opening a package or sectioning the sample now once you have this image you can analyze a few things for example if you want to look at the size of this air pocket you can zoom into it and take a ruler for example and do this and see that this one is about 8.8 .8 millimeter. You can do the same thing with those peanuts, for example. 
You can also do a volume of fraction analysis or size of distribution analysis. So as you can see in this example, by using a CT scanner like the CT Lab GX, you can do a scan very fast. We did a 24 second scan on for this sample, but this machine is capable of doing a 3.9 second scan as well. And you get to see the inside of the sample without destroying the sample. So now you watch the entire process, you might have some questions. You can talk to an expert or you can just email us. We're here to help you and thank you for watching.